Hi YouTube guys, welcome back to my next video on JNT Labs. In this video, I am going to tell you about the basic RFID module which need to be initialized. So basically RFID module programming we will be discussing here. If you have not seen my previous videos, then please go and see the video of previous RFID module. How does it works and what is the type of communication it does and what are the things required for this RFID to write a program of RFID. Okay, so without basics, it is waste of time seeing this code also so if you know the basics then it is well and good then you can continue the programming part and in my next video you will be going to see the how it is live demonstration that's it how it is working okay so if you have not subscribed my channel till now just subscribe it because subscribers are important to me if more subscribers then it will be more interesting for me to make new new videos so that's it so let us start so basically my card gives 12 string 12 characters so which is the combination of letters as well as numbers so i am declaring one string and a variable called card okay now i will be reading the card value one by one because it gives a serial it is a serial communication it gives one by one by one so i am taking a character character c okay so that's it now i will be displaying the card number on my serial monitor so i am beginning the serial dot begin to begin a serial spelling is wrong serial dot begin in brackets you should mention the baud rate okay so the baud rate is 9600 basically all the baud rates is 9600 if you have seen everything it goes on 9600 in my previous video of IR also I have told you that the baud rate is 9600 most of the communication modules communicate the, by using the baud rate 9600 so okay we have taken it let us take a character because I know it is a 12 digit characters so I will be incrementing one by one. Okay, so character I have taken it. Uh, let us take y. I is less than 12, right? I should be less than 12. Then only it should work because 12 characters I should read. So while I is less than 12. If anything present in my serial that is another available available spelling. If anything present in my in serial, if it is greater than zero, then what I am doing? I am storing this I am storing it in C okay serial dot read serial dot read I'm storing it in C and then what I am doing I'm concatenating the strings card plus C okay so card plus C the anyhow I have not made the card here also null so let me make card as null card equals to null basically I'll be checking every time the card is null or not I have here initialized the card, but whenever it comes into, into the loop, then I should make the card as null. So I am making it null, and then what I am doing, I am incrementing the i value so that if it is greater than 12, then it comes out of the while loop. And then I must print in my serial monitor. Syntax is very important. You can able to see some of the characters are high. upper characters, means capitals, and some of them are low, uh, small. So basically see how how i write or you can find the code in jnt labs okay so if you if you comment below i will be providing the code link okay so where you can able to download it so thank you this is the simple code required to read the card value okay from rfid reader so if you have any doubts uh, then comment below in my next video you will be seeing the live demonstration of it okay I will be connecting to my Arduino board, the RFID module and the card will be reading by using the serial monitor we will be displaying. Okay, so till then take care, have fun, thank you.